Hello, and welcome to Poet in a Room. I am Quincy Sigglesworth. Today I have up-and-comer Ian Irvin, who has brought to us a very interesting new poem that I have not heard yet. So, how are you today, Ian? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, um, I'm good. Yeah. Jolly good, then. And today you bring to us your newest poem, My Last Vision, is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, My Last Vision, that, yeah, that's the poem I brought today. And have you always found that poetry was your true calling, then? Uh, you know, not really, no, I, no, I didn't see poet, no. R right, well, I think... Everybody, all of us, are, are dying to hear your latest poem. Do, do you think you could recite that for us, then? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think I could do that for you. Read, read my... Yeah. My Last Vision. <clears throat> I lay in bed, dying. Friends and family all around. The group, they are all crying, tears falling to the ground. The priest stands over my bed and raises up his hands. He signs the cross upon my head and calls for angelic bands. This man's time is now over, for soon he will be dead. May God give him cover as his eyes turn to lead. I feel my life start leaving. My mother starts to sob. I see my chest start heaving as I make my way to God. I wait for my last vision to see a glorious king, but God makes his decision, and I hear no bloody sing. I hoped that all my pain would ease, my body fall asleep. Alas, I do not find my peace as my agony grows deep. I close my eyes and open them, but I see no change. My death will have no meaning then, as life's message fades away. I looked toward this moment now for the longest time, but my death has somehow become a pointless rhyme. I curse God and everything for holding my life back. I feel death's cold, cruel sting as my mind fades to black. Suddenly I'm jerked awake, my vision never truer. I pray for my whole soul's sake. For I saw I was impure. What did I see on my deathbed but Lucifer and hell? It seems my cursing God instead has caused my sins to swell. I pray for all God's forgiveness, for now I see the light. He doesn't hear, I start to stress, and suddenly I die. Thank you. Uh, that was truly enlightening. And when listening to it, does that poem have some sort of coincidence with your own life, per se? You know, uh, no, no, not really, no. Very good. Well, it was a great time having you here today, and uh, we'd love to have you back any time that you want, unless we find better poets, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was a great, great time being here. I really hope you, uh, yeah, ask me to come here again. I, I'd love to do it, working, yeah, working on poems all the time. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. This has been Poets in a Room. I'm Quincy Shinglesworth. We hope you join again next time. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>